everyone, my name is Elisa. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it very, very much. Today, I have a huge thrift haul. I went to three different thrift stores. I went to a new one in a town that's just right next to mine. And then on half off day at the Salvation Army, I went to the Salvation Army in Norman. And I went to the Salvation Army just north of Norman in Moore. And side note, the Salvation Army is going to be changing how they're doing things. So starting April the 1st, well, I don't know about all Salvation Army, it's just the ones in my area. Uh, they are going to make it so nothing in their store is more than $4.99. That's going to be crazy because a lot of their items are like $5.99. Their jackets and blazers are 20 bucks, and their dresses are 10 bucks. So they're going to make it so nothing in their store, not nothing, but none of the clothes in their store are going to be more than $5. And then on Wednesday, instead of doing half off, they're going to do 25% off. So everything will be $3.75. 375 or less. I'm sure they'll still price like their t-shirts and stuff at three bucks like they have been. So I think that's crazy and I kind of hope that it will force Goodwill to lower their prices because Goodwill is ridiculous. I live in freaking Oklahoma and I watch a lot of the people who are in California but their prices on their thrift stores are less than my freaking Goodwill and it just baffles me. Baffles me. Anyways, total sidebar. Let me go ahead and show you this huge thrift haul. There's 64 items and my average cost of goods for the entire uh, three stores was $2.95. I found some pretty decent stuff and then I found some just kind of so-so bread and butter stuff. So let's dive right in. First item, this actually was free. This and one of the other dresses that I will show you today was free. This lady had a bunch of uh, prom dresses. I don't even know that this is actually a prom dress. And she said prom dresses are free. So she didn't even charge me for these things. This is a Latiste size large and it's this really nice kind of burgundy red high neck sleeveless midi dress. And it has this open back. This thing is really, really cute. It has a couple of pulls down at the bottom, but not very many. And it's still in really, really good condition for free. Who's going to pass that up? That was amazing. Then I found this Zara man. This is a blue corduroy, just little kind of trucker jacket -y feel, but I mean, it's not a trucker jacket. It's just a corduroy little button front jacket. This is a size large. So I went ahead and grabbed that, which you'll hear me say a lot. Obviously I grabbed it because I have it. <laughs> this is an Adidas golf size small. This is a nice little purple polo, little quarter button has the Adidas logo down there at the hip. This isn't going to go for much, but again, when my average cost of goods is only two ninety five, it, if I make 18 bucks, that's still a profit for me. This is Club Monaco, size large, a white sleeveless sort of cropped top. I really liked that and it was in excellent condition. There was a little bit of a mark on the back, but I've already uh, put everything through the wash. So it came right out, no problems. Then I found this, which is beyond wrinkly on the inside. I feel like somebody did wash this. I mean, it says to dry clean only, but somebody washed it with that wrinkles, but it didn't make it hang out funky. So I think I can steam that out. Anyways, it's this nice striped button front little blazer and it has, oh, did I say it was Trina Turk? It's Trina Turk. There's the Trina Turk there. And then also in some of the spots in the, oh, there it is. Like in some of the stripes, she's got her name in there as well. So I went ahead and picked this up. It's a size four. It's a little bit smaller, but I really like the style and career wear does fairly well for me. So obviously I picked that one up. This is a soft surroundings size extra small. This is just a basic little V-neck has some pockets, sort of tunic length sweatshirt. Uh, I really liked this as well. I like the color. If it was a little bit bigger, it would be mine. 
I found these new with tag Speedos little boy shorts. They're brand new. They're in excellent condition, obviously, because they're brand new. $48 price tag. They are the, what were you? Power Flex Echo. So I went ahead and picked them up. They don't have the uh, hygienic liner on them, but I honestly don't even know if, like, is that a thing for all swimsuits? So, I mean, they've definitely never been worn. The next thing that I picked up was this Columbia size large sort of cowl neck. I really like the little pattern on here. Just a pull over long sleeve shirt and it has the Columbia logo on the left uh, shoulder there. And again, I just really liked the pattern. Technically this is my size, but I'm going to be good and not keep that. <laughs> then I found this moth size extra small. I don't want this to hit the floor and get dirty because it is a cream color, but okay, show the tag. There you go. It is a cream color little bell sleeve dress, knit, lightweight, kind of a mock neck. Uh, there was actually another reseller there and I know she was a reseller because when we were waiting in the line for the door to open, she was talking to another gentleman about how she hates uh, low ball offers. And so do I. <laughs> and uh, she had already been down that aisle. So I was like, I probably won't find anything down this aisle since she's been down it already, but I'll give it a shot. And I found that and um, a couple of other pieces as well. And I was like, okay, well, maybe this isn't what she resells. I don't know. All right. This is a J. McLaughlin size medium, 100% cashmere. It's really wrinkly, so I'm going to have to steam it. Um, but it's in excellent condition. There were no holes. It needs a little bit of a sweater shave, but this was just too stinking cute. And it has this nice little detail um, at the cuffs there. This thing is so ridiculously soft. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. This is a BCBG Max Azria size small purple faux uh, suede little peplum blouse. This was just too stinking cute to leave behind as well. And this was at a thrift store that I've never been to before. Um, cause it just opened a couple of weeks ago and she had nothing over $5 either. Actually, um, each thing had a little tag and based on the color of the tag is how much it would be. And I think that was $2, $2. The next thing that I found is this Garnet Hill size medium kind of polka dot little sweater. It's very lightweight. This is 100% merino wool. There's no holes. There's no pilling. This thing is in absolutely wonderful condition. That was a good find. And then I found this Banana Republic luxury blend size medium. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a men's sweater. It is cashmere blend. Uh, just a nice little lightweight gray v-neck. I mean, we are coming out of the winter season in the long sleeves, but some places it stays cool enough that they need the long sleeves even into July, or not really July, but June in most places. This is new with tags, blue and gray, size small, and this is just a little cowl neck, like dolman sleeve, little popover. I really liked it. It's new with tags. I'm probably not going to go for a whole lot, but it'll be something. Now, this was the other dress that was free. This, she gave me this thing for free. This is Adriana Papel, new with tags, size 14. Gorgeous sheath dress with these little, like, kind of off shoulder sleeves there. Nice little exposed back zipper. I mean, how, what, why? I even told her, I was like, this thing is new with tags. Are you sure you don't want me to pay for it? And she was like, no, it's fine. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> thanks. I'll take it. This is a kid's, this is Oshkosh size 6, 6X. And this is just an adorable little floral, uh, little ruffle front skirt, sort of midi length. And that was just adorable. This is a Lou and Gray size medium 
I really liked the stripes. This kind of has like lag and looky kind of minimal. I don't know if it's considered minimalist. It's not quite boho, but it's like on the verge. Anyways, and I wish it was a little bit bigger because I would have kept it. But if I keep everything, then I have nothing to sell. So, which I did keep this. I got this like this good shirt um, at the exact same, well, not the exact, at one of the thrift stores from Half Off Day. And I would have sold it. It's basically brand new, but on the back, it has a little bit of discoloration. So I was like, nope, never mind. This is mine. <laughs> this is a J. Crew Pep Polo size extra large and it's just sort of a faded out green just basic polo short sleeve three buttons really nice condition so i think the faded or the muted greens is an in color i don't know if that's the same thing for men's or not but whatever this is mod cloth size extra large and this is a like a burgundy red striped uh, open front cardigan and it has this like really long line in the front kind of waterfall style since it was an extra large and it's mod cloth that I don't find very often I went ahead and picked it up it does need some uh, sweater shaving under the arms but other than that it's in wonderful condition this is a doe and ray size large I picked this one up because it was a large and I also picked it up because I really like the style. I like the little black and white pattern. It kind of has this little peplum at the bottom and it buttons all the way down the back. So I definitely needed to grab that one. Then I got these American Eagle super high rise flare jeans in a size two. They are small, but I really liked the way that the pockets looked and they actually have a raw hem flare at the bottom there and they're in excellent condition. So I got these, these probably sell for like maybe 18 to 20. They'll sit for a while because they're small, but that's okay. Then I got this loft size large and this is a blue and white striped, very lag and look. Again, like, is it boho? Is it minimalist? I don't know. <laughs> I just know it's cute and I liked it. So I grabbed it. Then I picked up another Lou and Gray. I actually got quite a few Lou and Grays at the store where nothing was more than $5 because she had a bunch and they were like a dollar a piece. So I grabbed them. This is Lou and Gray size small. This is a blue and white striped. I mean, again, this is not going to go for much. I, if, if I get $15 for this, uh, it'll be a good day, but it's cute. It's in great condition. So I picked it up. And then this is American Eagle Outfitters, and this is a size large, and it, that's not broken, I thought it was for a second. This is a striped little ruffle sleeve, sort of peplumy blouse as well. I really like the open floor, flowy sort of style. Then this one is new with tags, blue and gray, size small. And this one's just a basic pink v-neck. So I went ahead and grabbed this one as well, obviously. Um, but it was new attacks. Maybe somebody will bundle it with the blue one. Then I found this For the Republic size medium, 100, ooh, something is in my eye. 100% linen, sort of beige color top. This is definitely very lag and looky. And so I went ahead and picked that one up. All right, come here, come here. This is an UMG size large and the floral pattern on this just blew me away. It is sheer. I love the colors. I love the pops of blue in there. I think this would classify as a swimsuit cover up for sure. Um, but you could definitely wear, you know, a little bralette or anything under it really. And I mean, this thing is just gorgeous. I wanted to keep it, but it's not really my, it doesn't go good with my shade. So it will be sold. I actually do pretty well with OMG as well. I sell it pretty consistently. So I will pick it up if and when I can find it. This is a Lucky brand, size large. It does have some distressing at the neck, which I think is supposed to be there, 
but I liked the way that it said lucky there on the front, but it does have a hole. It has a hole like right there, which I'm just going to note, but it, to me, no, that hole is not supposed to be there, I don't think, but it sort of goes with the rest of the distressing, so I think that it'll be okay. I'll probably only get like 12 to 15 for it, but that's all right. Then this thing, I have no idea. I don't know why I picked it up. I don't remember doing comps. And when I got home and I redid comps, I was like, this thing's like, what is this? <laughs> this is a 5'4 size large. It's a green, got a black stripe and a white stripe and a pocket. I'm pretty sure this is a men's shirt because it's pretty long, like it's definitely, or it could be a women's and just like a tunic. I don't know, but I picked it up and I'll try to sell it. We'll see if that works. <laughs> Then the next thing that I found is this Free People size medium. There's a little metal Free People tag. And this is an open, very loose knit, sort of blush pink, just, I don't know if this is a cover up or a dress. I'll have to Google lens it to see if I can find the exact Free People style. But Free People for less than three bucks, I will always pick up. Come here. This is a new with tag. I mean, it has a little bit of the tag. New almost without tags. <laughs> um, Zara collection, size medium. And it is just a red and white striped sort of longer line, a little bit of a high-low, seriously. <laughs> T-shirt, good for spring and summer. And then I picked this up just because I liked the pattern on it. I'm. I probably should do comps a little bit better when I'm in the store, I'm not going to lie. But this is a Volcom, 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 whatever, size large men's button down. But I just like the color and I like that little pattern on there. It's a button up. It's in good condition. It was from that store where nothing was over five bucks and I'm pretty sure that she had this one marked at two. So, of course I'm going to take that. Then, please don't tear. Thank you. The next thing that I found is this 100% silk Polo Ralph Lauren size 6 striped t-shirt dress and it does have a belt and this thing feels amazing. This The quality of this silk is fabulous. So I definitely grabbed that. I, again, I don't know, it might sell for like 25, 30 bucks if I'm lucky, but that's a profit for me and a profit's a profit. This is a Victoria's Secret size small and this is a blue animal print satiny pajama top. The, I didn't see any bottoms, doesn't mean they didn't have them, um, but they weren't close to this particular top. So I'll sell it. I don't know if it ever actually was a pair at one point in time or not. Um, let's see. I know what you are, but I want to find your tag. This is a Carl Lagerfeld size extra large, and I really liked the sort of geometric freaky pattern on this. And then I also liked the uh, beading detail there. This is a really nice career blouse. Has sort of a little drapey v-neck sleeveless this would go really nice under a blade or yeah under a blazer i almost said over a blazer that's not how you wear those then i found this columbia size medium pink gingham plaid lightweight uh little button front button down then i found this nicole miller size small 100 percent linen peachy lag and look like i really lag and look is probably my thing like if i if it's what i could find and sell 24 7 it's what i would find and sell 24 7 but unfortunately i don't find it enough to you know do what i need my reselling hustle to do <laughs> this is an athleta size large and this is just a basic black uh little t-shirt like oversized little armholes there it's not gonna go for much but I like to sell Athleta. Then I found this Peloton Mom, little gray tank, and on the back it says, Bold, Brave, Unstoppable Peloton. 
I actually found another Peloton. It was purple and it just said Peloton on the front, but it, whenever I took the tag out, it gave it a little hole. So I'm gonna see if I can fix it, or I might just list it as is, but I don't have it in this haul because I don't know for sure what I'm gonna do with it. This is another Zara. This is a size small, but I really, really loved the color, the little paper bag, pull-on style. Again, very lag and look, goes down to a little bit of a cuffed hem there. Um, so I definitely, definitely picked those up. I don't have problems selling smaller sizes either. Like, yeah, they don't sell for fast. Don't sell for fast. They don't <laughs> sell fast and sometimes they don't sell for a lot. But when you have a bunch of small sizes, you sell small sizes, you just do. This is a Lululemon. And if I remember correctly, this is the first base style. Um, this is a bit of an older style, but it is in good condition. It does not have a size in it that I could find anywhere. So I'll find the, uh, I'll try to find measurements and see if I can size it that way, or I'll just put it on my mannequin and go from there. Then I found another Free People. This one is a size small. And this is just a blue thermal with this nice little knit pattern down here on the sleeve. Again, we're coming out of this season, but it's free people, it's cute, so I grabbed it. Then I found another free people, and I was really excited when I found this one because this is just freaking gorgeous. This is a free people size medium, and if I remember correctly when I looked up the style of this, it's like the perfectly Victorian, and it's in just this gorgeous embroidered dress. I only found one in this exact same color, and it sold for uh, for $55. Now, the other colors were selling anywhere from $25 to $60, so I think I'm going to probably list this at like $60, $65, and hope for, you know, maybe $45, and see what happens. Then I found this pink Victoria's Secret Ultimate, size large. I got it because it's in absolutely freaking perfect condition and it has that pink logo there. It's a pullover. It has the little mint green with the pink on the sides. And I think the, I, I don't actually even know if this will still do well or not, but I grabbed it anyway. <laughs> don't do as I do, okay? Um, this is LL Bean size medium. This is another 100% linen, lag and look, uh, button front, women's because of the side that the buttons are on, I think. I don't remember. I'll have to double check. I can never remember which side is which. And then I found this Madewell, size small. Again, lag and look, white, sort of cropped blouse. I think this was linen blend. I don't think this one was... Yeah, this was linen and viscose. Um, I think that this one was left behind because it did have a mark on the collar but whenever I washed it, that came right out. It came right out. So, score for me. <laughs> then there's this The Nines by Hatch. I don't, I, I should have done comps because I, when I brought it home, I was like, uh, why did I pick this up? I meant to do comps before I actually left the store because this is a brand I don't know. And it has like varying comps. Some are in the 20s and some of them are like $9. So I'm going to have to see if I can find this specific style and see what uh, happens with that. I still like the style. It has the nice lag and look sort of feel to it. So I'm still going to list it and sell it. It's just, I don't know for how much. <laughs> this is a, another pink size large. And this is a gray sort of space dye, says pink, um, just pullover sweatshirt with a cowl neck, a little bit of a cowl neck there. So I went ahead and grabbed that one as well. And then when I went down the dresses, which I'm actually excited that the Salvation Army is gonna be changing how they do their prices because again, their dresses are usually $10. So this dress was marked at $10. So I paid five, though obviously my average was less than that. But I mean, this dress is just gorgeous. This is a Tahari Arthur Levine size 20. And it's, it is a linen blend, but look at that pattern. That pattern is just gorgeous. This is a sleeveless sheath dress, has the zipper down the back, does not have pockets. It is definitely a linen blend, but I don't remember what it was blended with. Um, uh, linen and rayon. 
So, I mean, again, I mean, I could not pass up that powder. That powder is amazing. And it's plus size. So anyways, the point is, like, that's a totally delayed point here. <laughs> the point is, is that I'll be happy when their dresses are $5. I'm sure that's what they probably put them at. And on Wednesdays, I can get them for $3.75. Because if I can find dresses like that, probably sell it $20.25, I'm a happy girl. This is a Tommy Bahama size extra large. And this is just a really, really lightweight red and white floral with this blue. Uh, is that blue or black? That's black. With this black uh, little color block section, very lightweight, very sheer. This is would be perfect to wear on the beach over your swimsuit. And then I, I picked this up and I don't even know why. <laughs> I, I think I was just in a hurry or something. This is PPLA clothing. Uh, and this is a size large. I don't want to get it on the floor because then I'm in my shed. It's not always clean. Um, but it's just this white basic top. I don't even know what PPLA is. I'm going to have to look that up because... Oh, there we go. Dropped it in the floor. <sighs> what I say? Don't drop it in the floor. And then I dropped it in the floor. All right. Now, this is an Umji size extra large 1x and this is just a gorgeous gorgeous uh boho i think that's a mandala like a floral mandala pattern with this thing here <laughs> it's like an open front kind of kimono this thing is amazing i'm gonna list this thing for 25 bucks i don't know that i'll get that much i might get you know maybe 18 if i'm really lucky but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try then I found this Meadow Rue size extra small, and this is just a black sort of asymmetrical button, got a little bit of a sheer detail, like cardigan. I'm pretty sure Meadow Rue is uh, anthropology, not pretty sure, I know that that's an anthropology. So, I mean, it's not like super crazy, maybe 20 bucks. This is We The Free size large, and I really love this. I have been so tempted to keep it, but I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna list it. But this is, this is just me. This just screams me. It's my color. It's everything about Elisa and I'm not gonna keep it. No, you're gonna sell it. <laughs> then in the dresses, which actually I was kind of surprised because this is new with tags and the thrift store had it at $3 and then it was half off. So I paid technically $1.50 for this. But this is a new with tags, New York Yankees tank uh, midi dress and I'm pretty sure baseball season is right around the corner so I was like um yeah I will definitely pick that up I have a lot of people who shop my uh, store my eBay store and my Poshmark from New York I send to New York all the time then this is another Trina Turk this did not have a size but I love the style it's very lagging look I'm pretty sure that this was a linen blend as well my oh, no were you linen I can't remember Linen or Lyocell? I know, I can't remember. Oh, it's both. Lyocell and linen. It does not have a size again, but I can measure it. It looks like it's probably a large because, I mean, this looks like it will fit me. So that's probably what I will list it as, but I'll still put measurements, tell people to check the measurements because the size is missing. And we will go from there. I don't know how much this specific shirt will go for. Maybe 20 if I'm lucky. Um, I have had pretty good luck with Trina Turk in the past. I sold a swimsuit cover-up, which actually you'll see in my February What Sold video for $35. So, Trina Turk and me are friends at the moment. This is a fossil size medium, which normally I don't pick up fossil purses or their clothes, but this dress was just adorable. It's a little lace covered, like got nice Victorian feel to it, little sheath dress, pullover, do you pull over? Yeah, a little pull over because it does not have any zippers. Fully lined. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. That's probably not going to sell for much. I might get lucky if I get $15 for that. We're almost at the bottom here. This is a Joseph Ribkoff size 10. And this is just a nice black little faux button three quarter sleeve career blouse. I mean, you could, of course, wear this for anything, really. This is just gorgeous. 
Now, I only picked this up because it was new attacks, and it's a large. You know, sometimes, again, don't do as I do, because who knows if this thing will ever sell. This is an Express size large. There's the tag. It's got this nice little sheer top sleeveless, and then has a little gray uh, bottom section. I mean, it is nice. It definitely would be a nice career piece. So, yeah. This is Talbot's size medium. And I picked this one up because I really liked the colors. It has a really nice preppy feel to it. Uh, I like the little color block and then the blue and white stripes. And I think it was 100% cotton. It might have actually been acrylic. Oh, okay, it's 55% cotton, 45% tensile. But either way, it, I mean, it feels amazing. It feels very, very nice. So somebody's gonna love that. Then I found this brand new Tags, Betsy Johnson, size extra large, uh, wow, scrubs, <laughs> this is scrub top. Now this doesn't have, like, this didn't retail for the most in the world. This was only a $30 retail price. But that's okay. I'm gonna list it for 25 and see if I can hopefully get 20 for it. And then I found this Wilfred size small, and this is a wine colored uh, little open front cardigan. And I really like that it has this little stud detail all around it. I found the style, but I can't remember what it was now off the top of my head, but. I think that the uh, sold comps on the ones that I saw, which were in a cream color, not this color, I couldn't find any in this color, um, was like 35 or 45, something like that. So that was pretty cool. And then last, no, not last, because I have two pairs of shoes. The last clothing item is this Wrangler Retro size medium, come on, uh, little pullover hoodie in this really, really nice sort of Southwestern pattern. It has a drawstring, has some nice fancy buttons. So, I mean, Wrangler's not like the best of the best brands, but the style on this alone, I think is gonna sell it. So I grabbed that. Then I found two pairs of shoes. Um, this is a size seven and a half. Not that you can see that, but this is a Cole Haan not that you can see that either. Hey, look, there we go. Cole Haan, they do have a little bit of wear, but these are beautiful. And when I did comps on these, I, I, somebody had these listed for $130 and then somebody had these listed for $30. I think I'm gonna go somewhere in between and I'm gonna start them at 50 and we'll see what happens. They're cute, they're in decent condition. They are smaller and smaller, of course, it takes a little longer to sell, but it is what it is. Same amount of wear over here. The uh, heels are good. There's a little bit of, you know, wear there, but that's normal on a pair of shoes. The tips are perfect. There's like, the insides are nice. These are really good shoes. So I went ahead and picked these up. I know you will zip because you unzipped. All right, and then the last thing that I picked up isn't anything super fancy. It's just a pair of Sam Edelman these are the Mariella. They are a leather upper and they are also, I think, a seven and a half. I just saw you. Where did you go? Yeah, these are also a seven and a half and these were $2.99. Yeah, they had these at $3. So that's crazy. And then of course they were 50% off. So I paid $1.50, but I like the little style here. The bottoms of them are amazing. Like maybe somebody wore these once. They probably, maybe they hurt their feet. I don't know, but they're awesome. I have no idea how much I'm going to list them for <laughs> because again, don't be like me. Do comps. It's important. Do comps. All right. Anyways, let me know what your favorite piece was. I think personally, my favorite piece is definitely that uh, embroidered free people dress because I'm, that's, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. And then maybe my next favorite piece is probably going to be those speedo uh, <laughs> swim shorts. I don't know why, but it is. Um, and then just everything else is just good stuff, decent stuff. And I think it will definitely give me a profit for sure. Anyways, thank you so, so much for joining me. Always sticking with me through my incessant ramblings. I love and appreciate all of you. 
leave me a comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and stick around for more crazy content. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!